If there were a contest for all the mothers of the world Mother dear, you take first place, you bring home every single award But how could they compare you, for no one could come close But we wouldn't trade our mother's love for all the riches of this earth. And we thank God for the best mother in this world. Who can say they never had a babysitter in their life? Who can say they skipped kindergarten cause their mom wanted them at home? We play games together, you spent so much time with us. You taught us more than any teacher could, and you taught it from your heart. We were poor, but we wouldn't trade. For all the riches on this earth And we thank God For the best mother in this world We were poor But we wouldn't trade our mother's love For all the riches on this earth And we thank God the best mother in this world Cause you're the best as best can be And your love shines through on us And mother dear, we love you gets here. Um, part of today's service is a celebration of retirement and redirection in vocation. Um, that part of the service is on an insert. Gwen has some in her hand. If you didn't grab one yet, now honestly would be a great time to do that. Car carry on. that we share as members of the body of Christ. Um, I wish all the moms out there a happy Mother's Day. And I also remind folks that this may be a wonderful day for some and a very hard day for others. And I pray that this space, this worship space, this community of faith gives us all the space to reflect on what this day means for us and how it impacts our days, our lives, our hearts, and our minds. 
As we gather together today, I already mentioned that there will be a celebration of retirement, and we will be celebrating either in person with or perhaps online Phil Blatt, Cheryl Bowers, Carol Forrester, Doug Kennedy, Joe Ressler, and Drew Trump. Other news and announcements from the bulletin, uh, Western Berks Shepherding Fundraiser, May 18th and, nope, May 19th and 20th. Uh, you can still go on the 18th, but that won't help the fundraiser at all. Um, at uh, Austin's and Coastal. Um, adult Summer Sunday School is being offered by Jeff Culp. Um, that class you will need to access a different website, um, but his information is in the bulletin if you would like to receive those updates from him. Uh, Bear Creek Camp, we have uh, discount codes if your kids are going to Bear Creek this summer. And the dates for Vacation Bible School are in the bulletin, and there are also registration forms on the table over here um, for an outdoor Vacation Bible School this summer. Uh, Christian education is thinking outside of the box and outside of the building as a way to safely bring our younger kiddos together this summer. And for that, we give thanks to God. Um, other announcements we hold in our hearts and our prayers, Arlene Eisman and Janice Carmen um, in the hospital and rehab. Uh, Robin McElwee uh, is actually home from the hospital. Her surgery went well, and we continue to pray um, for Neil as, his primary, as her primary caregiver. Um, and Dennis Root is home from the hospital. Uh, Russell Onstadt is also in the hospital. So we, pray, we continue to pray for all these folks, Arlene, Janice, Russell, Robin, and Dennis. Um, before we get to birthdays this morning, we welcome Pastor Mark Christie, who's right over here. You might need to take a few steps forward so folks over there can see you. Um, he is stepping in the fancy title he has received. Oh, do not fall off the curb on your first Sunday. Uh, he has accepted the wonderful title of Interim Interim. You're like, great, great. It, only at Trinity do we create new titles for folks who are stepping in to help lead us and guide us through this transitional time. So what that means, and he'll tell you a little bit more maybe about this or just maybe about himself in a moment, um, is that in the next several months, Pastor Mark will be with us um, to help us move through a continued grief process, to continue to nurture and care for each and every one of us as we continue to worship both outside and online. Um, and to help us through these early months. Um, down the road, we will um, look to have our second interim, um, who will intentionally be with us for a longer period of time and who will work with the Parish Planning Council, um, the leadership of the congregation, and you all um, to work through the next call process that we will be a part of. And the call process is the process that a congregation goes through to call their next pastor. Um, so Pastor Mark is with us for a short time um, to lead us in worship um, and to comfort and guide us through this time. And then down the road, there will be a second interim who will be more intentional um, about the long-term planning and dreaming and processing and exciting things that will happen here at Trinity down the road after that. Um, if you have questions about that, a great person to ask is our president of council, Jeff Werner, because um, he knows good stuff like that. And if he doesn't, he'll just come back and ask me or someone else. Um, <laughs> But he knows that process, um, as well as other PPC folks, if you have questions about that. I think that's it. Uh, birthdays this morning. Uh, today, Kelly Bross. Monday, Reese Coulter, Brady Crick. Tuesday, Jessica Case, Lori Myers, Matt Pauley. Wednesday, Katie Bowman, Derek Oberlin, Cooper Unger, Madison Winchester. Thursday, Rosalie Brunner, Daniel Deeroff, Tom Rhodes, Rachel Warzeniak. Friday, Sadie Bookser, Jonathan Schneider, Emma Thomas, and Saturday, Matt Grove and Ron Moyer. Birthdays this morning, I believe, Rosalie. Any, any others? Rosalie, we, you lead us in song so beautifully on Holden on those nights when you're here. Let us sing to you. Happy birthday to you. Good morning. Good morning. Um, as Pastor Jen said, my name is Mark Christie. I'm happy to be with you. She graciously said uh, I would be to, here to help guide you. I am still trying to figure out where the bathroom is, so I don't know how much guiding I'll be doing. But um, 
After uh, 17 years of working at the uh, Reading Hospital as a chaplain there, it's uh, nice to do uh, to be uh, tasked with a, uh, a new challenge. I'm happy to be with you and uh, hope that um, I will be of help and service to you in this time of change and transition. We're all going through so much um, that is new territory for all of us, so um, I'm happy to be on that journey with you. Let us begin our worship with uh, the con order for confession and forgiveness. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who calls us beloved children, who gathers us into one flock, who guides us all into the truth. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins trusting that God will forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Faithful and just God, we confess, we confess that, that we are captive to doubt and fear, bound by the ways that lead to death. We have not loved our sisters and brothers as you have first loved us. Forgive us, God of mercy. Let your Holy Spirit work in us to change our lives and make us new, that we may know the abundant life given in Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. In this is love. Not that we loved God, but that God loved us and sent the Son to atone for our sins. In the name of Jesus Christ, I announce to you that your sins are forgiven. Let the perfect love of God cast out fear, fill you with joy, and inspire you to live for others. Amen. Amen. 